everyone, it's me, Teacher Alex. So for today's activity, we're making a hanging mobile art. Last week, you've done with your collage, right? So you, did you do it? Oh, very good. Okay, now let's proceed with our main activity for today. Hanging mobile art. When we say hanging mobile, is a sculpture that will move in a light breeze. So the shape and form of the mobile will depend upon its design and the imagination of the creator. And that is you. For your materials and equipment should be easy to find and must be clean. For this activity, you can use colored paper, string, scissors, glue, sticks, or straw, or any available materials that you can use for this activity. Now, let's watch together this video. Today, we are going to make mobile art. A mobile is a type of sculpture that is made up of shapes which are held up in the air and moves by a certain force, either by wind or touch. It can be used as an interior design, a toy for babies, or even wind chimes. Are you ready? Let's start by making the paper rods. If you already have available materials like a straw or a barbecue stick, you may skip this step. Take a piece of paper and roll it as thinly as possible. Here, I'm using the tip of my brush to curl the corner of the paper. Then roll it till you form a rod. Make sure to glue the end so it will be secure. You can also make smaller rods by cutting one whole sheet of paper in half and repeat the process. For the next step, you will need to draw the shapes that you want for your mobile and cut them out. Take a colored sheet of paper and fold it in half. You may want to use a recycled cardboard box to add weight to your shape. Here, I'm applying glue evenly to make sure that my colored paper doesn't touch from my cardboard. Let's draw the shapes on the colored paper. You can make the shapes big or small depending on your design. You can also come up with your own shapes of clouds, fishes, or even inorganic shapes. Now let's cut them out. The theme of my design is about God's creation, the sun, moon, and planets. What about yours? Once you have completed your shapes, punch a hole on them using a puncher or a push pin. Make sure that your holes are in the center of your shape so that it won't break off. Now it's time to tie the shapes onto the paper rods. It's up to you how long you want your thread to be, but to be sure, you can make each thread 5 to 8 inches in length. Once you have attached threads to all your shapes, tie each thread near the ends of the paper rods. Don't forget to attach the thread in the middle of your rods, which can help balance your mobile art.
You may choose to do two to three layers for your design. Next, adjust the position of the thread on the rods to balance your mobile. You may ask help from your parents or older brother or sister when doing this step. Now, secure the thread on the rod with the tape to hold it in place. Finally, you may add more shapes and paint the rods as needed. Take a short video of your mobile and pass it. Good job guys! I hope you enjoyed making this mobile art. See you again soon!